Hey guys, um, I am really happy to be talking to you from my brand new computer. Uh, Adele finally, she didn't kaput, but the hinge is even more broken than it used to be, and so she doesn't close, um, which makes her kind of hard to travel with. So I, um, I had already pretty well convinced my mom that I needed a new computer. Uh, I'm taking these off. I didn't like the glare off of them. Sorry, I have kind of a weird tan. I went shooting today, and so you can kind of see where my glasses didn't let the rest of me tan. But I went shooting today. I shot a 9mm handgun that is the same model that, they use, that the Russian KGB used during the Cold War. Manufactured in the Ukraine. Really good accuracy. Not much kick. It was nice. Um, shot a couple of 22 handguns, or sorry, one 22 semi-automatic handgun, a 45 semi-automatic handgun, a 22 rifle um, with, a, I think it's a Remington with a scope, I had to sight in the scope, um, and a 223 rifle with a scope at uh, 200 yards and 100 yards. Uh, that was really fun, except towards the end, it got kind of stormy, and the wind started blowing, and when my grandpa and I were trying to take the um, the targets, the big cardboard targets back, uh, we almost blew away because they caught the wind, and it was like 60, 70 mile an hour wind, <laughs> um, and there was dust everywhere. I just took a shower, but I still feel dirty. It's really gross. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, new computer. Um, oh, uh, it was great to hear from you, Cindy. Um, and I can't wait to see you in a few days or whenever you have time. I know you're coming up and everything, and I'll see you plenty up at school, so, um, whatever. But, uh, let's see, what else? Oh, I'm excited about your fan fiction. Uh, have at it. Um, I am good with any fan fiction you guys want to do. Let me think about that statement and make sure it's true. Yep, yep, it's true. Um, <laughs> and, uh, uh, I mean, I won't be doing much fan fiction given that I have five books to write, but, um, but that is totally cool. And, uh, maybe sometime if I'm bored and don't want to write, like tonight. Tonight is a case of I didn't. Well, I don't want to go to bed. I got tired of watching Malcolm in the Middle, and nobody's on internet, which makes me kind of sad. Um. So I, I decided I'd upload something. Um. What else? Fan fiction, seeing Cindy soon. Mm. The kids have been a bit of a handful. They aren't taking the transition into school very well. Poor guys. Um. Or the transition of Paige moving out. Paige moved out. Her apartment's really fancy schmancy. She gets her own room and her own bathroom, and like, it's almost as big as a walk-in closet. Like, the, the closet, not the room. Well, the room is kind of small. It's about the same size as the, the rooms at Camden. Um, but she gets her own bathroom. I mean, with tub and shower and sink and everything. Um, and her bedroom door locks, and that's how you get to the bathroom. The bathroom is actually connected to her bedroom. And it locks. She has her own key to it, so that's really nice. Um... I don't know, I always feel uncomfortable if I can't lock my door for whatever reason. Um, um, my brain just took a tangent, guys, I'm sorry. I have work tomorrow. It's really boring, dead, mind-numbingly boring stuff. Um, but at least it's only for a couple hours. And then it's the weekend! Not that I do anything on the weekend. 
Um, anything really? I took Alita to this. Um, it's kind of like Kiwi Loco, how they have the frozen yogurt and the toppings and stuff, but then they also have these milkshakes with the boba globs in it. Not globs, that's not really the right word. Have any of you had boba before? It's delicious. It's kind of like big tapioca. No. Mm. You know the pasta that's in uh, frog eye salad? It's like those, but bigger. It's pasta, and it kind of tastes like root beer, but um, you put it at the bottom of drinks. And so usually it's called boba tea, because originally you would put it in tea, but um, now they put it in almost anything, honestly. So I had a taro-flavored milkshake, basically, with boba at the bottom. Oh, it was so good. Alita's was passion fruit. That one was pretty good, too. But I liked the taro. Mmm, taro. It's delicious. Um, had pizza for dinner. Sorry if this is my numblingly boring for you guys. I, uh... Hmm. Not much is going on. Ooh! Want to see the progress I'm making on the hat? That's something you guys would be interested in. Okay. So, this is the hat for my Matoki costume. I made it in four parts. And each part um, folds up into the center. And then... I didn't sew it all the way together. Let me turn it inside out for you. I didn't sew it all the way together, oh, except it does looks that doesn't help. Mm. I didn't sew the two layers together all the way so that I could slip in. Where to go? Originally, I was going to use a headband, but that proved really hard to sew inside of it. So, since I haven't um, sewed it up all the way, I can slip. This is going to be flat against my head like this to hold the ears up. And so, Kayla just messaged me. Sorry, Kayla. I'm going to ignore you for a minute while I show everybody my amazing hat design which is unfinished. And so you slip it in, see? Slipped in, and it's gonna slip in on the other side too. And I'm gonna cut, or, well, before I slip it in, I'm gonna put the ears on it. But, so it'll be like that, see? And then you sew up the sides, or the top, except a little better. You sew up the top, and it's going to have little slits for the ears to come out. And then you sew on all the details and stuff. Um, here are the ears. Here's the, I'm just using craft foam. Uh, two sheets of craft foam glued together uh, to make them a little more firm instead of so floppy. Um, and so these are the ears, the um, structure for the ears. Uh, I will cover them in fabric and paste them up on top like that. Uh, and then I was working on a mask. However, I just tried gluing the zipper on. So I like cut a hole in the craft foam and glued the zipper through the back. But it isn't really sticking very well. So I'm going to have to either hot glue it or sew it on. Um, but so I have these, I got those little snappy buttons. See? So that I can make this, this uh, respirator reversible. Because I'm, uh, I don't re remember which Matoki I am. The one who's really pink, but looks white. That one. So I'm making the respirator reversible. So what these buttons do is they, when you click them together, they shape it in the right shape. They shape it in the right shape, just in case you couldn't understand that. See? And so I'm going to put buttons on both sides so that you can button it like that, that I just showed you. Or, like... I haven't actually done the buttons on the pink side yet. Or you can do it like this. See? 
It's going to be lots of fun. I just need to glue the zipper on right, draw on the details. Um, sew the buttons onto the pink part, glue the pink part to the white part, and put the little white nose on the pink part. And I guess I need a string to hold it around my head. But that's it. So that's coming along. Um, I haven't started on my iPod cover yet. This week's been kind of busy, so I haven't really had a whole lot of time. Uh, I had one day. I did all that that I just showed you on Tuesday? Monday or Tuesday? Possibly Sunday? No. Monday. Monday and Tuesday. And I haven't had much time since then to work on it. Um, I believe that's it. Kayla's probably mad at me for not talking to her yet. So, I'm only going to show you one cool thing about this new camcordery thingamajig. Okay? This one. Citizens of the world, welcome to my new utopia. Aren't you happy to be members of the... Okay, I'm bored. Sorry. That was all I could think of. I saw this and all I thought of was Chelsea Topia. I am ruler of the world, but I you know me, I have much too short a, an attention span for that. I think that maybe this is more my thing. Um or maybe let me take that off. Or maybe this one. Yeah. Yeah! I accidentally clicked it again. I'm so sorry. Um, there's also this really weird one where there are a bunch of, like, animals and people and stuff. And I guess it, like, reads your face. And so you can, like, talk as the mask of the person. I'll just show you. I think um, this one was my favorite. Hello. I am a stone carving, a terracotta warrior. Yes, it's a little delayed if you can't tell. But it really does, like, match my facial expressions. And it also moves with my head, see? Very slowly with my head. <laughs> anyway, I'm done with that. That's it. I love you guys. I can't wait to see you in a couple weeks. I really can't. This place is eating.